effects artist, um, responsibilities of an effects supervisor, and what it's all really about. Um, daily work of an effects artist, you know, you're, you're dealing with uh, shots and R&D, trying to develop systems before a project shows up at your facility, uh, before the plates are shot, before they're gone through tracking and match move and animation, etc. And so we do a lot of testing of systems and trying to come up with um, flexible uh, things that can change over time because that is really one of the keys about visual effects and why Thinking Particles does very well is that you can start off with one vision and it will evolve over time. and gradually it will become something very different, uh, possibly. Um, ideas get explored, and so you need, you need tools that are able to accommodate those changes. Um, and I'm, the people who work with me know that I will be the first to admit that if something's not working, it just doesn't work. You're going to have to tear it down, rebuild it, salvage what you can, um, and that's just how it goes. Um, so as a daily work as an effects artist, you know, you're dealing with dynamics, um, things that move, um, things that break, um, bend, um, specialized effects, you know, shock waves, fire, dust, uh, crumbling buildings, shattering glass, all these things. Um, there are many different tools out there, and m many of them are great. This, I'm not here to um, discount any tool. Um, I, all I can tell you is that I'm seeing what Thinking Particles is capable of and the flexibility that it has um, make it an extremely valuable asset uh, for creating artwork. All right, so responsibility of of an effects supervisor. Um, that's my title right now. I'm the TP effects supervisor at Scanline uh, Vancouver. And um, I would say on a day-to-day -day basis, my job is really kind of department management, um, technology management, trying to make things work smoothly between departments, um, trying to help develop systems within the department helping and I'll tell you a big a big part of it is once someone has built a system and encounters a problem uh, it's so great to have somebody there to help debug that problem uh, so anytime there's an issue with something whether it's um, thinking particles our pipeline uh, other departments um, part of my job is to get involved and help try to find the solution and the solution um, is all about, uh, you know, getting things done. And what it's what it's really all about is um, reaching that image um, and telling that story. Because every shot that we do and every sequence that we do is one component of a bigger picture. We all know the experience of sitting in a theater and watching a movie. And it's important to remember, as an effects artist, that we get one shot. Well, we get, we get one moment in time. One part of that movie is... And once it's made, you know, it's final. It's done. And so we do many 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 versions to get something right and to make it just perfect because telling the perfect story and making every moment count that's that's what our job is about um, there's many other aspects to it of course um, but really it's about making a great image that tells the story, that flows into the shots before and after, um, 
and keeping that continuity and keeping us involved and engaged with the characters in the story and the action um, to help the audience feel and experience what it's all about. <laughs>